I was once in training for the Catholic priesthood, and a classmate of mine in the seminary, our chore was to buy the groceries uh, for the seminary. And uh, we had this thing, we were vowed to poverty, chastity, and obedience. Well, we weren't too good at two of the vows, but the poverty we, we tried to get right. We changed the word cheap to quality. So we would go to the store, we'd buy cheap crackers when someone ordered Ritz crackers. We kept the Ritz cracker box around. We put the cheap crackers in the Ritz cracker box. People wanted Canada Dry Soda. we buy the cheapest ginger ale, put it in the Canada Dry. we buy the cheapest shredded wheat, put it in the post-shredded wheat box. This was a sting we'd do. But we'd refer to everything that was cheap as quality. My wife and I, we continued the practice when we went shopping. If we saw something cheap, we'd say, we were, we're impressed by its quality. Um, so I've always wanted to pinch pennies and get the best I could. Just had a great shave. And now you need to put an aftershave on. You rinse off with warm water, cold water. It's nice and smooth. Now what do you put on for an aftershave? You're gonna have a lot of choices. Um, I go for my favorite. But before I tell you what that is, I'm gonna tell you some of the cheap choices, or better yet, quality choices you have out there. the bombs I have to tell you I rarely use them um, but on a cold winter day uh, like it's below zero and you might have some chapping in New England I have found a couple bombs that work pretty well they're not oily and uh, they're quite inexpensive uh, this is my favorite rise it, it went for about a dollar of course, I'd like to save the penny. Um, my uh, classmate, Ted Brown, he's a priest now, a chaplain at a college. I'm happily married. That's how life goes. Cheap shaver out. <laughs> 